Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up open and close WooCommerce store plugin with the free version and have a look at the extra features that you get with the pro version. This powerful plugin gives you control over your store's opening hours. With open and close WooCommerce store, you can set up your schedule in minutes, easily configure your store's opening and closing times, customize the days, define specific days and hours for your store to be open, just like your physical storefront. Your website will automatically follow the schedule you set, ensuring your customers know when you're open for business. You can prevent orders when you close, block orders during your off hours so customers can only shop when you're ready. Let's get into it. The plugin we're going to use is Open Close WooCommerce Store Best Business Schedules Manager and it's made by Plugin Bazaar team. First of all, we want to go into our WordPress website, go to Plugins, Add New Plugin. In the search, do a search for Open Close WooCommerce Store. Make sure you get the right one, it's this one, install now. Once it's installed, press activate. And at the top here, you can see we've got create schedule, we can do that. If you don't see this, you can also go to over here in schedules on the left hand side and we'll go to schedules. At the moment, we haven't got anything. Next, I'm going to press add schedule. First thing I'm going to do is set our schedule title. I'm just going to call it business opening hours and it's got a default built in message to say when the store is offline. So it says offline, we will start taking orders in Then it's got a countdown. So I think that's good as is. So I'm going to press publish. And over on the right hand side there, we can see that if you only have like one store and you want to have some set amount of opening hours, we can set that as a default. When it's red, it's not enabled. I'm going to enable our schedule. Press update, so this is going to be our default schedule for the entire store. And then you can set your opening hours. So if you're open at 9 till 5 on a Monday, you just select the time. You can type in 09, just remember to use the colon, 0900. I'm going to type in 0500, and then choose the PM option. So you can set your store up like this. You could also add more to it. So if you open again at 7 PM, for example, 0700 PM you could set your store to be open for evening meals as well. And if you don't want one, you can press the X and that will take this one out. Press OK and remember to press update. So, so you could then go through each day and set the hours for your store opening. And this is what it looks like on the front end. Because we set our opening hours to Monday, today is Saturday of recording this video, down in the bottom, you can see there we've got offline, we'll start taking orders in 45 hours, 45 minutes and a number of seconds. And it gives the user the option to hide the message. So it's pretty clear that the store shut until 45 hours time. With this, you could go through each day and set all the different hours for opening and closing times. If you've got the pro version of this, you can select specific products to be available and you can add them to the schedule. I'm just going with the free version for the time being. If you want to go for more options, we can go into settings. It's showing us our active schedule, which is one we created, business opening hours, and you can tell it what day your week starts on. So I've got it set to Monday by default. And then you've got a couple more options. So you can tell the admins if it's open or closed. You can see at the top here, it says shop closed. and allows me to edit the schedule from here. And then we can disable the checkout button. So when the store's closed, the checkout button won't be available. Then we can go into things like cart settings. Again, these are pro features only. And the countdown timer, you can select all different styles and then you can add your text in here. So say when the store will be open, when the store will be closed. So you can customize those messages. Scrolling down, you can set descriptions for the times. You've got hour, minutes and seconds. I'm going to leave them as is because you don't need to change those. And you can also turn off the timer text before the countdown timer. Then rules, these are all pro features, pre-orders pro features, and styling. And for show status bar, you could upload your own custom image for when you're open and your own custom image for when you close. So you could just choose a file and upload it, and you can choose to display the icon as well. Once you're done there, press save. I've now set the store to be open on a Saturday from 12 a.m. until 12 p.m. because they can take orders over the weekend. And on the front end, this is what it looks like. 
as we can see now as an admin we can see the shop is open and then there's no message to say that the store is closed in the footer if you need more options plugin bazaar do have a pro version available and it's about 49 dollars so basically you can read through their site to see what you get so it's got better integration so i'm going to try the pro version to see how much better it is if you buy the pro version you just need to download the pro zip file which i'm going to do now press download then go back into the website, plugins, add new plugin, upload plugin, choose your file, and then we want the pro version. Press open, install now, and then activate the plugin. We want to activate open and close Wooka install. On the download page, make sure you go to license keys, not activated, click on this. And then copy your license key and then go back to your website where it says manage license paste in the license there activate the license and you should have full functionality of the software so we're going to settings now we should see everything is operational so like all the force rules we can do that or the pre-ordering styling so we now got full functionality with the pro version one super handy thing the pro version has got is if you go to force rules instant controlling you can basically override all the settings so if i enable this we can literally put the store into store closed mode if you run out of stock for instance and like you sell out this might be a really handy thing that you can suddenly close the store and say right we aren't taking any more orders so i go to this we're currently open i've just enabled the store shut thing so yeah the message isn't great we're completely off until the next update so we might want to change that i'd set a better custom message we're out of stock or the store is currently closed one other handy feature that you've got in the pro version is it obviously enables specific products, which you don't get in the free one. If I click on specific products, you can tell it all the different products that you want and it will only sell those on your store. Or you can tell it to select a category, which is quite handy. So this is a butcher. So if they sell out of beef, we might just say, well, you can only buy lamb. So you could adjust what items you want to sell in there, which is quite useful to have. Or you can just leave it on all products. If you found this helpful, leave a comment below, hit that like button and smash that subscribe. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike twice and thanks for watching.